Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a great classical piano sound using Galaxy Piano's engine and user interface. We have four pianos to choose from. We have the Vienna Grand, a 9'6 Bosendorfer Imperial 290, which is famous for its powerful sound with a huge bottom end, but also a fine pianissimo sound. Second is the Galaxy Steinway, a hand-picked modern Steinway D concert grand from the famous Galaxy Studios. Our newest piano is the Galaxy Vintage D, a Steinway D concert grand from 1920 with a warmer sound compared to our Galaxy Steinway. And finally, the 1929 German Baby Grand, a Blutner Baby Grand built in 1929. So let's go with the Vienna Grand. So now I'm going to show you how to create the sound of a classical recording of a concert grand in a concert hall. We've recorded all these pianos with a variety of microphones, including room mics, but we've kept the sound pretty direct so it's more flexible. But with classical recordings, you have more ambience and it's more diffuse than it is with jazz or pop recordings. To achieve this sound, we have our space menu with a great convolution reverb, offering quite a few sampled rooms, including large concert halls and chamber music halls. Let's listen to some of the different halls that are available. We'll start with the first concert hall. Now let's try the chamber music hall. Now the large hall. And just for kicks, the Taj Mahal. Let's go with the first one we tried, the concert hall. For the time being, I'll keep the volume of the concert hall low and we'll come back to it later. Because the classical audience doesn't sit right next to the piano, let's add a little pre-delay to create this impression. If you're sitting at a piano playing it yourself, you're going to hear all the bass notes on the left side and all the high notes on the right side, so it would sound like this. But if you're sitting in the audience, it's inverted, so let's press the audience button here at listening position. Additionally, if you're sitting further away in the audience, you're not going to hear the whole stereo perspective. So let's reduce the stereo just a little bit. The Vienna Grand sounds pretty bright, so let's add a little bit of warmth to it. We'll switch to the second tone menu, and here we go. And I prefer the bass notes pretty prominent, so I can raise their level with the low keys fader. We can change the color too. This is on the main page of the tone menu. The color knob isn't an EQ, it's a dynamic way of changing the mapping. If I turn it to the right, the harder samples are triggered earlier. And if I turn it to the left, it's vice versa. So let's set it towards hard, but just a little bit. Now I personally prefer to hear at least a little bit of the typical piano noises like pedal noise, damper noises, and string noises. And now let's hear all three of them together. And maybe a little bit more resonance. This adjusts the sympathetic string resonance when using the sustain pedal. The resonance knob is part of the tone menu. And as a classical pianist, I want to use the sustain pedal like on a real grand with half pedaling, which allows me to control the length of the notes and the amount of resonance dynamically when using a continuous sustain pedal. And repedaling, of course, 
because I sometimes press the sustain pedal right after releasing a key. Pressing the left pedal on a real grand piano shifts the hammers to the right so that fewer strings per pitch are struck. This is called una corda. This is what it sounds like without una corda. And this is what it sounds like with una corda. If you want to know more about pedaling, you can watch our articulation tutorial. Now, in the anatomy section, you can find a drop-down menu with different tunings. The default tuning is stretch tuning because all modern pianos are tuned this way. But as you can see, there are quite a few historical tunings which are very useful when playing early music. I'd like to have a little bit more of the room sound. So now, let's hear this with an excerpt from Beethoven. So now let's listen to another excerpt on another piano. So let's go with the Galaxy Steinway. We'll choose the global preset in the hall. Let's go to space and turn down the amount of reverb a little bit. And at tone, we're going to turn down the color a little bit to make it a little bit softer. So this is Sonatine from Maurice Ravel. Okay, and let's try another excerpt from the same piece on the Vintage D. So first I load the Vintage D, and then let's take the Global Preset Concert Grand. And so now a little bit more Ravel. So thank you very much for joining us and check out our other tutorials as well, please. Thank you very much and take care.